Constant rate of change. How do you find the unit rate from a graph line that goes through the origin? Let's start with the word problem. During the weekends, Christopher is a computer programmer. He charges customers per line of code. And here's the charge lines. So for 50 lines of code, it charges $1,000. 100 lines of code, 2000 150 lines of code, 3000 And for 200 lines of code, 4000 Questions are, what's the change in the lines of code? How much is it changing each time that I input something here on my table? And also, what is the change in cost? We can see here that the change in dollars is $1,000. We're increasing by 1000 each time. And the change in number of lines is 50. So while this is increasing by $1,000, this one's increasing by 50. So we can see here that 1,000 divided by 50 gives us uh, our rate. This is a constant rate. If I want to bring it down to a unit rate, it's $20 a line. So that's what he's going to be charging, $20 per line. And that is our constant rate of change, $20 a line. So as he creates code, um, programming code, that's going to equal dollars for him. And he's going to charge $20 per line. This is how we use tables to find constant rates of change. So Brent is raising some money for the guitar club by running a car wash. Find the constant rate of change. So here's the information that I know. I know that for five cars, it's going to be about uh, $40. For 10 cars, $80. 15, 120. 20 is $160, <clears throat> excuse me. And for $25, 200, and so on and so forth. So what I notice here is I can notice that the number of cars is increasing by 5, and as those increase by 5, these are increasing by 40. It's constantly making the same exact pattern. So I can take the change in money, which is $40 each time, it's increasing by 40, and the change in cars, which is 5. And that is a rate, but I want to find a unit rate, so I bring it down to $8 per car so I can find out, I can say that the money earned increases by $8 for each car washed. So as more and more cars are being washed, um, it's an $8 charge per vehicle. So uh, if he was holding out a sign, he would be showing $8 a car. There's another video using, I'm sorry, another example, using graphs to find constant rates of change. So sometimes you're going to be given a T-chart, sometimes you'll be given a graph or both. So let's take a look at this. Mr. Crosby drove to Arizona and recorded the following information. Okay, so he, gave, he wrote down a, a chart here, a graph. My x-axis is time, okay, it's my independent variable. And then over here, my y-axis is distance, my dependent variable. Distance, the, how far he drove, depends on how long he drove, right? So dependent, I'm sorry, independent is down here, dependent over here. We'll talk more about this as uh, different lessons come up. But anyway, so he, he plots these points, okay? 160, 2, 120, 3, 180. Find the rate of change by picking any two points. So let's take a look what that looks like. Change in miles over change in hours. So I just chose these two points. I said, look, from 60, from 0 to 60, that was 60 miles, and that took one hour. So I could say that that was 60 miles an hour. He was driving 60 miles an hour the entire time. So that would make sense, 60 for one hour, 120 for two, 180 for three. What does it mean? It means that Mr. Crosby was driving 60 miles per hour on his road trip to Arizona. I wonder, does it work if you use different points? Try using these two points. Find the difference between these and divide it by the difference of those and see what you get. 